Hello guys, you are watching German Gyan. My name is Nidhi Jain and guys again I am here with you for you with a part 2 video for B1 learners. So yes uh, guys in this video as I have already told you in B1 that in this video I will be telling you the most important tips for writing for the grammar part. So yes without wasting time let's get started. And guys, if you haven't watched the part 1 for B1 learners, the top 6 tips for the gym, uh, B1 learners who want to give the GWEIT exam, then link will be in a bio. Please go and check it out because that is the most important video which you all have requested to me. So please go and watch it. Guys, let's talk about the writing part in which the grammar is used most. So uh, if you talk about gra writing part, then yes. Goethe exam, Goethe exam is done and judged by the two things which is one grammar and vocabulary. For vocabulary I have told you and given you the whole tips uh, in the part 1 video. In this video I will be telling you the grammar most important things. So yes, let's get started. So guys you must know the rules and the proper structures for words like while, this help and you can see the words which are there in screen. So these all words are very very important. The whole sentence structures for this, how to make sentences by this, how you can form different different sentences by this and all you must know that is very very necessary for B1 examination. Now if I talk about the point 2. Point number two then it is very very important for you all to know that guys whenever we are doing a writing part that should be done in past perfect don't use anything else just do and use past perfect and your writing will be perfect just for that you must know that what is the proper sentence structure for that and how you can form sentences by that for that your vocabulary should be strong because that will help you and you know the articles very well that is a must. Now let me tell you some hacks for B1 exams, especially for writing part. Let's get started. Okay, so if I talk about the first hack, then guys, a personal, this, this all I'm telling you by my personal experience. So first, please do read all the questions which are given to you, letter writing, blog writing or opinion writing or whatsoever question is there. Do read it very, very carefully. Don't rush that, okay, you have read the question once and you are just writing and writing and writing. It has happened with my student that he was writing once the letter for the A1. Uh, I'm giving you just for the example. They were writing the example uh, letter for A1 and he understood little bit wrong just because of one word. In German, particularly one word can make a whole difference. So please do read the question at least twice or thrice and then write the question, understand it well, do not rush. Let's know the point number two for hack. Guys, now I will suggest you that write as much letter as you can. Uh, for B1, write even letters in a big form, A2 letters, B1 letters. In fact, try to write the B2 letters also and try to give TELC exam letters from A1, A2 and B1. That will help you to get more and more habitual with the letter writing in German. And guys, please do remember the structures for that, which is very, very important. Greetings, salutations, that are very, very important things. The What you have to write in the upper part, what you have to write in the lower part, that is very, very important and exactly the body. So for each and everything, you will be getting marks. So please do not rush in anything. Now let's know the number three. Guys, uh, when we are writing the whole thing, we always and always forget that noun will be having the capital letter. We always forget the, uh, to write the noun first letter capital in German which is the biggest mistake and they notice that in B1 so please don't forget to recheck when you have done it. Yeah. Now let's talk about the hack number 4 which is that guys please 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 it's a request to you when you have done it or while you are writing anything Please focus that yes, the position of the verbs like modal verbs, connecting verbs are correct. Please do mention it because when we are writing in a flow, we just forget everything and 
it becomes a biggest problem and you don't score a good marks and then you'll be saying that we have we have done very good papers till we haven't got the paper so please don't do it do it very carefully uh, pay attention to that and yes you will get marks these are the very uh, small things but yes very important because only small things we used to forget the uh, this is my personal experience by my students and by myself also so yes i'm just sharing you that okay now let's talk about the fifth hack which i want to tell you guys when you are putting a comma don't forget to use a comma in especially when you are making sentences by while or thus please 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 use comma which is very very important and these small things go with a teachers do notice so please guys sixth hack is the please do use these 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 very very easy word like fillized and you can see on your screen these words are very important and of course they give you the good scoring marks for the writing part for every part because this upgrade your level that yes you are in b1 level in fact if you uh, if you have joined the a1 level or a2 level from german gyan then we provide you these words for the speaking parts for the answers for speaking parts in a1 level itself so we prepare students from the beginning that yes you have to upgrade yourself and you have to score good and good so yes these are the very important words so guys i hope this video will help you and if you want i will be making the part 3 video for you all before that i will be watching you on tuesday with my live session if you have any question if you have any request for any video you can comment down below and if you have any question put hashtag tuesday savals and i will be answering that question so yes see you in the live session video till then stay blessed stay happy and guys keep learning german with german gyan tschüss